a very good morning, a very good afternoon, a very good evening wherever you are watching us from. This is Eddie Max TV Trends where we bring you hot stories from all corners of life. And indeed today we have a very, very hot story in this channel. We have a very wonderful guest who was a street child and she is very much willing to share her story. Karibu sana. Ngeniwe to Tafadali, introduce yourself. Thank you so much. Mm. My name is Kimberly Williams. I'm born again mm. and I love Christ. Mm. Uh, I'm a former street girl from Kikomba actually. Mm. Yeah. And wow. now at least I have a home. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. When did you when did you find yourself in street life? At twelve years old. Mm. Yeah. How did it begin? Can you please tell us? Well, I did plan, I did not plan to be in the street. Mm. Yes. Where I came from, my mom died. Mm. And I came to Nairobi to live with my aunt. And when I reached in Nairobi, mm. my life just changed. Mm. And I have to follow the rules. When you in came that to house. live with your aunt, yes. you, 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 were your parents alive? No, mm. only my dad. Okay. Yeah, because I came, f I came from a family of nine children, mm -hmm. and my dad was now a single father mm -hmm. after my mom passed. Mm -hmm. So he had to raise all the nine. So my aunt took me so that I can continue my schooling in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. But little did I know that my life has just changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happened from there? You well, were, mm. when I reached in Nairobi. Mm. I found out that my aunt is a drug dealer. What? And she's also... And was your father aware? No. No one was aware at home. Mm -hmm. So I just knew because I came to mm -hmm. live with her in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. And because I wasn't an, an expert in doing these kinds of work, mm -hmm. so I had to live in the street mm -hmm. while doing this work mm -hmm. of drug dealing everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is your aunt who introduced you to drug dealing? Yes. Now from there, you became a drug dealer? Yes. I became a drug dealer at 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when you joined the street children? Or? Yeah. I decided to live in the street because you can't sell drugs while living with the normal people. You just have to pretend to be a street girl to oh. live there for you to survive. Wait. You're saying you can't sell drugs yeah. while living as a normal person. Yes. What about your aunt? She's just there but I can't I can't oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't continue living with her. Oh, because you could not continue living with her? Yeah. Whenever she need me, mm. she know where to find me. So I just go and pick the drugs mm -hmm. and sell them. To, or mm. to supply whatever I'm sent to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? And did your dad maybe at one point came to know what was going no. on between you and your aunt? I never find a chance to tell my dad the truth. And your siblings? No. They were younger. I was the older and at 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did your aunt have children or? Just one boy. Mm -hmm. And by that he time. He was also a drug dealer? No. He was just a little kid. By that time, he was four years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. That's so. I'm so sorry for that. So <laughs> when you went to the street, what happened? When I went to the street, mm. it was hard. Because in the street, only the strong survive. You can't be in the street and you don't know how to survive there. Mm -hmm. You'll just die instantly. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn to survive in the street. I had to learn to be in the street and live with them and know how they live their life. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to live in the street. Mm -hmm. Because that's the, the, the place I, I knew I'm safe. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were in the street for how long? For seven years. Seven good years? Yeah. Just I out on the street. street when I'm 20 years. Yes. Wow. And I walk on the street. I walk out when I have one kid. You got a kid while you were on the street? Yes. 
How? And then, then the street. Mm. <laughs> there in the street, I got addicted with drugs mm -hmm. because I had to inject myself with cocaine. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be a drug dealer when you're not using the drugs. Mm -hmm. So I introduced myself into drugs like cocaine, bang, and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's no drug that I've not used, mm -hmm. gum, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. I had to use them. And uh, I found my first kid through rape. Sorry. Just till when I was in the street. Mm -hmm. I decided to keep the kid. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, yes. when all this was happening, now you have a child. Yes. Was your aunt aware of that? Yes. Uh -huh. She was aware and she advised me to abort the, the pregnancy. Uh -huh. But I said no. So that you continue selling the drugs for her? Yes. What? So I did not abort the pregnancy. And because I refused to do that, we become more enemies. Uh -huh. So not, it's not a kid and her aunt. Uh -huh. We became enemies in, in business now. Uh -huh. Yeah. And on the street, how did you survive? with a child, huh? especially with a little kid? I can't say. I just, I just say thank you to Lord because it's not me who raised that kid. Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't raise my kid. God raised her. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't say I raised her because there in the street I used to use drugs always. Mm -hmm. I was always drunk. I was always in cocaine. Mm -hmm. So I can't even take care of my children mm. or oh, by that time I couldn't take care of her mm -hmm. so I just let her be even if you ask me how did she start working I can't tell you yes mm. but I thank God because he's alive and healthy mm. if someone tells you she's from the street you can't believe it mm -hmm. yeah I heard on the street so many things happen people are killed yeah I you can know. wake up one morning and find your neighbor dead. Mm -hmm. and, and how the, come you made it up to seven years on the street? My life is a miracle, Edith. I can't say that it's me who was surviving there. Mm -hmm. Because there in the street, I was kidnapped more than three times. Mm -hmm. Raped. And so many things happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But people are raped. Yes. And uh, can you agree with me that uh, maybe those rape cases mostly zinafanyika na wale watu wako the fellow drug dealers? Yes. Ama, because uh, eh? I, I can't imagine mtu aneza toka to from anywhere akuje our rape. Huh? Yeah. Are those stories zina happen within you guys? Yes. Mm hmm so rape do happen mm -hmm. in the street mm -hmm. yes and that's why you find many kids in the street mm -hmm. because being in the street for you to survive mm -hmm. first you have to work uh, maybe like a sex worker sex worker yeah and being a sex worker any man can know that you are just there to work with them so if you refuse, maybe they can, they can kidnap you, gang rape you, and then you find yourself pregnant. Yes. What? So in the street for you to survive as a girl, mm. it's so hard. Mm -hmm. Because if you refuse, mm. next morning we'll just find you dead. What? So did you continue working with your aunt or what happened? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't continue working with her mm -hmm. because we became enemies. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go back to her, so I just decided to live in the street. And I started my own business now as a yeah. drug dealer. Your own business? Yeah, and living in the street. How, Kimberly? Please yes. tell us more. <laughs> yeah. While I was working for her, mm -hmm. I I became the manager of the drugs now. Mm -hmm. So I know where you the drugs You said you are selling ni, what type of ni, ni drugs? I'm selling mm. cocaine, cocaine, bang, 
heroin, uh -huh. gums. Uh -huh. So I know where these drugs came from. Uh -huh. So you opened your own business now? Yeah, just uh -huh. there in the street. On the street? Yeah. To sell for those boys, my friends, in the street. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and how was the I business survived. now? <laughs> mm, I can't say. Mm. <laughs> Kind of tough somehow, because the government is against it. Mm -hmm. So you just know how to survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can also talk of crime. You told us that uh, you kuna wakati ulikuwa katika hizo una 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 piga watu una fanya una idea watu. Now uh, kindly tell us something. Would you, how did you find yourself? Just living in the street. Mm -hmm. We we create groups and gangs mm -hmm. to rob. Wow. Yeah. So after joining Street is when you started stories of crime and all that. Yeah. Uh huh. So you created groups. Yeah. Uh huh. I was the head of one group. Uh huh. We used to hijack cars. Even one day I met someone, <laughs> someone very, <laughs> mm. and. Do you know why? Mm. He's an apostle. What? And on Kanisa, just here, Mama Lucy. Mm -hmm. So one day we were hijacking cars in Mombasa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Survive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, continue. She yeah. will survive now. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I told you I don't know how my kid grew up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So when we were hijacking this car, mm -hmm. he was like, he just, he didn't refuse. Mm -hmm. He just asked me, how can you steal from a dead man? And I was shocked. I removed my mask and asked him, are you dead? Can the dead talk? Mm -hmm. And I point a gun at him and he told me, young lady, you don't know whom you're robbing from. Mm. I'm a dead person. Mm. I didn't argue with him. Mm. And the most surprising thing is that he just started praying in tongues. Mm. And you know, in tongues. yeah. Mm. And I was angry with him. Mm. The surprising part is all of us walked down from that car. We didn't drop anything. You were how many? Five of us. Five. Only girls? No. Mm. Two girls, three boys. Mm -hmm. And when we reached town, mm. <laughs> I hated him for something else. Mm. Because when I reached town with my group, all of them died. What? Yeah, they were shot dead. And... People thought I also was dead, but I wasn't dead. Mm. Yes. Okay. So I, I just continue crime life, mm -hmm. but I have injuries because not one or two that I was. But were you also shot? On that day, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. Where? On my back, and I survived. Mm -hmm. I was taken to the hospital thinking that I'm dead. And because we were robbers, mm -hmm. you can't just enter in the hospital with a bullet and you think that you will be attended to. Mm -hmm. So they just left up there. The next morning, Nili Jiskia. They thought that you were dead? Yes. Oh, okay. uh -huh. From that mog, Mimi Kujiskia and I was trained. Mimi si kwa tu mwezi ati, mimi ndiyo ni mwezi wangeta, no. I was trained to be that mwezi. So, nili wake up, nika chukua tu kabuti ya mochari attendants, na nika wa, and I walk away. I went back to the street to look for my kid. So, kitoka, walijua wewe ni mochari attenda, and I'm a... The mochari attendants, alishtuka. Obi alishtuka akashindwa maiti ameamka maiti ma my god it is so interesting I was I was that dangerous when vinye tu niliamka hivi hata kuongea alitetemeka tu mimi nikamwambia I need something nikave hii blood and I walk away ukarudi kwa street yeah 
because I know my, my kid is there. And I don't know who is she with. Hmm. So I went for her. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I couldn't move. When I reached the street, Nguvili mm Nisha, -hmm. because I was in pain. So that's when I met a friend. Mm. He was feeding the street kids. Mm -hmm. He found me injured. Na akanitibu. Akanipea ward. Na kunipea ward tuliko sana. Tunimwambia mimi na mapasta tuelewa nangi. So ukikuja hapa kunipreach, umekuja kuletea watu chakula. Hata nilimuongelesha vibaya. Mwanzo mmekuja kuletea watu chakula ama kunichunguza na ishiaje. And he was like, "No, you need help." Nikamuuliza nani anataka help? Is it me or you? And he just came directly to you akaachana na wale street. Yeah. Children wengine. Akaacha wenzake wakifeed watu, akakuja kuniongelesha jua aliona siezi amka. Penye nimelala because nilikuwa natandika tu karatasi na jifunika na karatasi. So aliniona siezi amka kwa hiyo karatasi. Kukuja akapata nimeumia. Yeah. So after kukongelesha, what happened? I get angry at him. Mm. Yeah. You got angry? Very angry. Mm. We almost fought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can yambia, no, I'm not here to fight you. Mm -hmm. He start preaching, ni kamambia, sasa ukitaka tu, utoke kwa his street mbio. Mm. Zaribu kone ubiria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can yambia pana. So he called some doctors. Mm to attend on me. Mm. Ju ukumbuke nilitoka mogu kama sijatibiwa. Watu wa mogu walikuwa nafikiria nimekufa. Mm. And I was wanted by the government. So hizi ni treat kama government hawajafika. Mm -hmm. So wakaniambia alileta madaktari, wakaniangalia, wakanipea first aid. Mm -hmm. Wakaambia sasa niko sawa na eza lala. Mm -hmm. But hata ma doctors walikuwa shocked wakaniuliza how? How are you live and Bado tu unaweza ongea. Mm. Kaambia ya, yeah, I can still talk because mimi always nilikuwa ngarud. Mm. Kwa sijajua kuongelesha watu vizuri. Mm -hmm. Always ukiniambia okay, hii niko na jibu nitakupea. Mm -hmm. Yeah and it's not a good one, it's a bad one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yenye kama uko na ro mbaya, ro ndogo mm -hmm. tutakosana. Mm -hmm. And fighting, so I liked fighting. Mimi ukitaka ni fight hata kama ni kwa mgonjwa kabisa nitamka. Mm. So he was he was like wewe well, unahitaji some help akaniambia tarudi hiyo siku ilikuwa rudi hata kunipata akukupata yeah next time kuniona aliniona when i'm a changed person mm. aje sasa alinipata kwa church wow yeah akapata ume change akapata nime change mm. akaniuliza is this you nikamwambia yeah it's me mm. akaniuliza unakumbuka karibu nipige nikiwa pasta na kupretia so you are here kwa madhabau mm. unaimba nikamwambia mm. yes so that's how street life is mm. yes umeniambia kwa nyuma mm. you met an apostle mm. along thicker road mkitaka kumrob mm -hmm. but uh, you didn't manage to rob him mm. at what point did you realize that huyu ni apostle cause mlipata na tu naye kwa gari ama mlipata na naye somewhere else maybe no. you can tell us something si kwa namjua mm. Ni venye tu unaweza hijack gari na watu wamekaa ndani. Uh. And venye tu hijack hiyo gari tulifika kwake kwa boma yake. Tulifika kwa hiyo kiti yenye alikuwa amekalia okay. kwa hiyo gari. Uh, uh. Tukamwambia eh he toa tu kila kitu uko nayo. Uh. And he was like what? Uh. Msichana ju nilitoa mask. Uh -huh. <laughs> Akaniambia Uwezi bia mtu amekufa nikamuuliza umekufaje mm -hmm. can the dead talk mm -hmm. akaniambia mimi nimekufa ndani ya Kristo tukifikiria ni mchezo akaanza tu kuomba so <laughs> nikaambia wenzangu huyu anatuharibia time tutashikwa hapa mm -hmm. tuachane na hiyo gari tukashuka mm -hmm. tukashika gari tukaenda tau mm -hmm. so tau kumbe tulikuwa tunafuatwa mm -hmm. the same same time mm -hmm. all of the group was shot mm. and i was the only one survived that day mm -hmm. yeah mm. and my surviving mimi hata siezi semani li survive aje mm -hmm. i can't say mm. na maybe uliweza kupelekwa rehab ama vitu kama hizo ndio upate ku reform vizuri reforming yangu imechukua time sana mm. because ilifika mahali hata siezi kana watoto wangu 
Okay. So you got the second child? Yeah. Ju ulikuwa umetuambia hapo awali ulikuwa mpata mtoto mmoja, si ndio? Then this second child nayo mm. ilikuwaaje? The second child ju ulikuwa umeenda church, mm -hmm. ume reform. Mm. That guy mwenye umesema alikuja kwa street mm -hmm. akikupreachia mkapatana naye church. Yes. You had one child. Yes. Now this second child what happened? While changing hmm. I needed somewhere to be in. Mm -hmm. So I decided to get married. Mm -hmm. Without knowing tena kuoleka nikaenda nikaolekea drug dealer still. Wow. Ni kijana lakini bado anauza ma drugs. Hmm. Mimi I didn't care about ile kazi anafanya because I needed somewhere to call a home. Hmm. I was tired of living in the street of suffering because in the street you can imagine wewe na mtoto mnajifunika karatasi so kunyeshe kukuaje mtakuwa tu hapo na huyo mtoto mm. so i needed somewhere to call a home mm. and the society never gave me that chance mm. yes i faced rejection so many times hata venye there is a place in nafikanga wanafunga mpaka maduka wataanza kulia she's mm. back Mm. So that rejection nikaona we I can't continue like this. Mm. I needed somewhere to call a home. I get married and I was unlucky still because I get married to to a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was it kwenda? Ah, it kwenda through. Mm. Then so, we called it and nikapata member. So you went back to the street after kupata member ama Mm -hmm. I just went back to drugs again. So, mimi si kwa nauza sasa. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa natumia. Okay. Yeah. Nilikuwa natumia drugs mingi sana because per day ningejidunga syringe mbili for me to survive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na sasa since ulikuwa umeanza story ya church, were you still going to church? Ama Can you go to church living with a criminal? You can. There are people who do. <laughs> Yes. In my case at a church yenyewe si kwa na nafasi ya kwenda. Hmm. And the life get hard and hard and hard mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Until nikaona I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of drugs, I'm tired of life. Mm -hmm. And not one or two did I try to kill me and my children for us to die because niki imagine ile life nimeka kwa street mm -hmm. alafu niache mtoto wangu akiteseka mm -hmm. a a niliona no mm -hmm. so mimi siku moja tu mimi napenda simu sana nilikuwa tu nimekaa na simu nikaona i can write something on facebook mm -hmm. nilikuwa tu na huyo jamaa bado mm -hmm. but ni jamaa mwenye unamuona wiki moja mm -hmm. two months ako jela what Unaweza muona baba mtoto sasa. Yeah, mm. unaweza muona <laughs> unaweza muona leo. Mm. Kesho ayuko. Mm. That was the life. Mm. Na ujue in that life unakaa hauna food. Nyumba mmejificha because criminals wakangi mali open. Mmejificha. Mm. Uko karibu na mto. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I was tired of that life and just one day I decided to write a message. Mm. And again I met an apostle Mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apostolic Edward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And he started mentoring me. Mm -hmm. Why? Uyo ndiye amepitia mambo. Mm -hmm. Nibana nipigia simu na muulize sasa wewe unapiga anga nani simu? Mm -hmm. Just rudely. Mm -hmm. And he never get tired. Mm -hmm. Always. Ange kaa hivi kama janipigia simu. Mm -hmm. And that skimba li always mimi nilikuwa napenda tu rudeness so nilikuwa na muongeleshanga vibaya karibu mm. kila wakati mm. akinipigia simu mm -hmm. and the only thing he gave me that make me survive is the mm. word of god mm -hmm. kama niko down ananitumia scripture nikisoma scripture naona guy kumbe yesu ananipenda mm -hmm. it's not like the society mm -hmm. wanasema mimi ni mbaya mm -hmm. mimi sitaenda mbinguni mm -hmm. and all that no he was being used by god to yeah. restore you Akintumia mm -hmm. scripture naona aya kumbe Yesu bado ananipenda. Mm -hmm. Kumbe dhambi zangu zilisha, samehewa kitambo zilisha. Mm -hmm. So there's no condemnation that e society inanipea yenye Mungu atanipea. Mm -hmm. Mungu haizini condemn tena. Mm -hmm. My sins were forgiven. Mm -hmm. That would make me move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, kilia kufanya suicide kanitoka. Mm -hmm. 
nikakuwa sasa naweza listen to the word of god mm -hmm. yes so after ukutana na uh, ulinda rehab before ukutana na apostle edward ama no. yeah after nimekutana na yeye mm. that's when aliona the the effect of the drugs mm. zimekuwa high sana mm -hmm. because hata siwezi kama ali mm. i was so violent and singe kana mtu kwa nyumba Mm -hmm. And because hapo nyuma nilikuwa najidunga two syringes of cocaine what nikikosa kujidunga I'll just collapse lazima ujidunge ndio survive eh nisipojidunga nitanguka kwani hizo vitu wakaje <laughs> nikaa chakula ama yes hmm. if you don't eat hmm. utasikianza so usipojidunga drugs na ezanguka tu anywhere mhm mm so ilikuwa lazima nitumie ma drugs mhm mm hata nikajaribu kupunguza but it was so hard mm -hmm. addiction ni kitu kingine mm -hmm. could deny ni ngumu sana mm -hmm. and for someone to conquer addiction mm -hmm. inafaa kukuja from your heart mm -hmm. true yeah mm -hmm. do you want to change mm -hmm. do you want this addiction to 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 leave you alone mm -hmm. it's come from your heart mm -hmm. and i decided that mimi sitaki kuku addicted then nika nikakubali nikapelekwa rehab mm -hmm. and that rehab with the help of apostle edward yeah. now okay mm -hmm. nilikubali tu kupelekwa rehab mm -hmm. juu nilijua nisipoenda rehab mm -hmm. <laughs> i can't i can't be a normal person mm -hmm. so nilipelekwa rehab nikakaa rehab for six months mm -hmm. yeah while getting treatment mm -hmm. and then what that, wapi walikuwa wapi sasa walikuwa tu <laughs> Mm. Walikuwa nakaa na my sister. Okay. My sister alimaliza shule. Mm. And because kwa hiyo boma mtu tu ningeongelesha kwetu mm. ni sister yangu mwenye ananifuata. Mm -hmm. So she need to leave school. Mm -hmm. Akuja niangalie. Mhm. Mm Venye alifika Nairobi hata kwa mimi akaniza guy wewe ni sister yangu kweli. Mhm. Nikamwambia eh mimi tu ni sister yako. Mm -hmm. So aliamua kukana watoto wake mm, okay, in the rehab. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, and mm. yeah. So in that process venye nilipona just came back home. Na siati nilipona sasa home where? Mm? To my sister's Nyumba, place. Oh, to your sister's place. Okay. Yes. Mm. To my sister's place. Mm. And still she was married, ma? No. Mm. She just find a house in the ghetto mm, okay. where she used to live with my kids mm. so after that the society never changed the society was like she can never change mm. the society gave me a rejection where i niliona eh hey nitaiweza kweli mm. nikaita my dad mm. apostolic edward nikamwambia no i can't akaniambia you just need to trust in god mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and that's when he find a way for me to move and to change places mm -hmm. that's when the place where i was living mm -hmm. now to this place okay yes so it's him mwenye amekuwa nakusaidia like uh, your bills and all that because i can imagine in nairobi raising two kids huh? It's mm -hmm. not easy hata kama ukwe kwa ghetto it's not mm. that easy. Mm. Yeah. So we umekuwa unasaidiwa ama Yeah. Mhm. Mm Mimi nasaidiwa. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. Sina kazi yenye naweza sema ati naweza afford kulipa nyumba. Mm -hmm. And still mm -hmm. sina kazi yenye nitasema naweza afford kulipa chakula. Mm -hmm. Yeah na maybe siku moja ungewahi tamani kufanya kazi cuz when i look at you unakaa <laughs> msichana very sharp una, ni mtu una, unaweza fanya kazi yes. you know unaweza patana na mtu pale nje aseme oh me i want to help this girl mm -hmm. eh, unaweza fanya kazi ipi uh, i just now in my heart mm. because of where i've come from mm. kitu mimi nataka kufanya nataka ku cancel mm -hmm. i want to be a counselor mm -hmm. Nataka ku cancel my youth. Mm. Ju nataka kuwafunza. It's not all about that the society wa kiku reject you give up. Mm -hmm. Because kama mimi ninge give up. What will be of my kids? Wangekuwa wapi sahi kama mm. ninge give up? 
so mimi kitu nataka kufanya sasa hii mm. i just want to be a counselor mm. ni kwenda ongelesha vijana mm. wajue and then again crime does not pay because i walked out but i walked out injured true and walking out ile nibidi mimi ni fake kifo yangu mm-hmm. i ke- i faked my death for them never to know that i'm alive so you can imagine crime mm-hmm. and each and every day ukifungulia tv unapata kijana ameuliwa mm-hmm. and ukiangalia ni kijana mdogo sana he can still do something or can she can still do something to survive mm-hmm. yeah so what i want to do i just want to be a counselor mm-hmm. to talk to youths Mm. marriage couples because sometimes girls we find ourselves in marriages mm. with these drugs people mm. so without wisdom mm. these marriages can't work mm. yeah what can you tell someone who is out there on the street maybe in a drug dealer eh yeah. mwambie nini since umekuwa pale yeah the only thing i can tell someone out there mm. i'll start with the addicted person mm. Addicted person you can walk out of addiction only if you want to walk out. Mm-hmm. And it has to come from your heart for you to walk out. Wewe mwenyewe inafaa ujitolee na useme nataka kubadilika. Unaweza toka kwa addiction. Because uwezi kuja uni force niache kukula ugali na mimi sitaki kukula ugali si tutakosana mm, okay. so inabidi mimi mwenyewe niamue mm. sitaki kukula nini mm. ugali that's mm. why I'm not that's to addicted person mm-hmm. and to that person in crime just my message to them is that crime does not pay mm. it doesn't it doesn't and it can never pay mm. because this this drug dealers tunapata a day mm. anapata milioni no million years in side here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I have an experience of that. Mm-hmm. That money can never help you. Mm-hmm. Hata kuna kitu unafanyanga. Mm-hmm. And hata ukiwa na hiyo pesa, my friend, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yes. Na mwangelele about your sister. Did you manage to reconnect with your family maybe? Kwa sababu utaka huko kwa mdogo at 12 years, your father <laughs> Yes I did. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you do too. Nibidi. Yeah. Uh-huh. And at first uh-huh. because alikuwa nasikia tu mtoto wangu ni mwezi Nairobi, mtoto wangu ali change. Hadi alikuwa amejua kwa sababu. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Yeye yeah, alikuwa anajua sababu ni gani. Uh-huh. So the person raising me apostolic Edward Alipanga. Uh-huh. Akaniambia you have to go home. So nilienda home. Uh-huh. Nikaongelesha babangu, nikamuelezea what happened and why mm. i entered crime mm. and why mm. i was in the street mm. so akaskia akaniambia mesikia but still nikasema ai mimi sitaka na yeye because mm. i just need to go out mm. and to my sister she's here in nairobi mm. yeah na hakuna kazi anafanya mm-hmm and i always blame myself because mimi ndo nilifanya akumaliza shule because of my situation mm. ali alika hivi akaona watoto wa sister yangu atakuwa na kaje mm. despite atakuwa tunajoana all those years but mm. still she managed to come to nairobi to look for my to look after my kids mm. so alikuja akaangalia watoto the mm. day nilipata nyumba mali pa kuishi aliniambia you wish you well Mm. And now anafanya tu kazi za kufua. Mm. Yeah. Given an opportunity, can you go back to school? Yes, I can. Mhm. Cuz I can yeah. see you are very bright. Na za tamani kurudi shule. Mhm. It's just that mm. mali uliacha masomo ilikuwa high school ama primary? No. Mm. I did my I did my class 8. No class 8. Yeah. Okay. We thank God for Apostle Edward. I know next time we are going to look for him guys to share this story. Atupatie ushuhuda kwa maana tumeona amekushika mkono sana. Yeah. Yeah and uh, maybe utueleze kidogo tukienda kumalizia about your aunt. Do you still talk with her? <laughs> 
She doesn't even know if I'm alive or dead. She doesn't know. Yes. Hmm. And the child is so sema kuna kitu mtoto kijana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't sijai atafikiria kuatafuta. Mhm. Because for someone to change, you never look your back. Mhm. True. Okay, look your back mm. and I'm not siati nimepona kabisa ama nimekuwa malaika kabisa mm. siezi rudi nyuma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why niliamua if I'm moving forward mm. I'll always move forward. Mm-hmm. I don't look my back. Mm-hmm. Because of the people when you wanna raise sai I just mimi na feeling it too. I have a family is raising me. Mm-hmm. Because in grace community mm-hmm. Kayole mm-hmm. is a church. Uh, yeah, okay. a church in Aitwa Grace Community mm. Kayole mm. Pastor Anne the pastor of that church and mm. Pastor Alfi mm. pamoja na Apostolic Edward mm. wamekuwa wakinielekeza kwa njia za Mungu mm-hmm. and wamekuwa wakinionyesha this is the right way to follow mm-hmm. and when i'm doing something wrong they were like no this is wrong mm-hmm. na wamekuwa wakinionyesha this is the good thing to do mm-hmm. and the only thing yenye wamenipea Mm-hmm. with the word of god mm-hmm. and the word of god is the thing that has been keeping me going on mm-hmm. yeah so that's where you fellowship yes every that's sunday with your children yes wow that is grateful thank you for giving us this opportunity tumeshukuru sana ninajua hii story itafika mbali Mm. na vijana watabadilika kwa una mm. kuna vijana wengi pale mtaani wanafanya vitu mbaya sana yeah. wengine they are still young they should be in school but unapata wako kwa mitaa wanaibia watu wanapiga watu ngeta but It's, before they do that mm. you i can tell the society something mm. before you condemn someone mm. know why he or she is there mm. because as for me mm. mimi si kuzaliwa na nikataka nataka kukuwa jambazi mm. no a situation put me there mm-hmm. so before you judge that person know why mm-hmm. he or she mm-hmm. is there na mbona kwa kwa hiyo gang mbaya and right. why mm-hmm. are they doing that mm-hmm. you need to know that mm-hmm. because unapata uki, uki start from one mm-hmm. unaenda kupata story yenye utakuwa unasema why singe condemn you ninge msema yeah mm-hmm. you never know the story behind mm-hmm. that mm-hmm that thing mbona mm. naifanya mm-hmm. so that's that comes to me also mimi mm-hmm. watu walinijaji without knowing mm. where did they come from and why am i there yeah. sure. so my advice to you mm. we should not just go out mm. because at a group so to potesa mm-hmm. relatives so to potesa mm-hmm. Somehow. Yes, no, no, you are your aunt. Yeah. Hata ni heri angekuacha ushago. <laughs> Ningesoma. Kwamba ike huko ungesoma. Ungepata tu ile public school at least ungeenda shule usome. Yeah. Rather than kukuchukua kule tena Nairobi, unje uko town kumbe anakuwa. So to those youths you in your core point, mm-hmm. just try and know the story behind it. Mm. Why is he doing that? utapata kwa sababu gani anafanya hata hiyo kitu labda haimfaidi yeye mm. kuna mtu anafaidika mm. because as for me when i was selling drugs the drugs were never mine but shida ilikuwa inanipata mimi mm. Mm. drugs as ikuwa zangu drugs zilikuwa za mtu mwingine so you see things like that and ni mimi kwa society itakondem mm. ni mimi government watakuwa after mm. but si mtu anafaidika so vitu kama hizo ndio zinafanya. Mm. Yeah. As we wind up Kimbali maybe uko na kitu unaweza tuambia kitu maybe atujeuliza atujeguze you can just tell us feel free. <laughs> oh, I don't know because mm. nimeambia story. Mm. And the only thing I want to do is to help you move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe mtu akitaka ku support anaweza kuwa anataka unataka kufanya aje umesema you want to do counseling yes to counsel the youths yeah. how do you want to do it or maybe somebody might be willing to support you anafaa kukusupportaje kitu kaiyo as for now hmm. if i can get a business hmm. where i can find something to support me and my family mm. as in my kids mm. niweze hata kujilipia nyumba mm. ku buy food mm. because hizo vitu siwezi nikafanya mm. because i don't have money for that mm. i depend on these people 
on church mm. grace community mm. and apostolic edward mimi nikikosa chakula nitampigia simu mm. akuwe nayo hana atatafuta mm. mm. and the church also mm. so mimi nikipata a business where i can depend on myself mm -hmm. i can do it mm -hmm. yeah god will remember you Amen. don't worry thank you so much <laughs> tumeshukuru sana for sharing mm. your story indeed mm. imekuwa story ya kidogo inavunja moyo kidogo inabariki na jua itaguza eh, vijana pale nje yeah. yeah and to our audience we have been with Kimberly amekuwa street girl amekuwa kwa crime for seven good years but here she is a reform she is a girl here serving god under the ministers of god Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Eddie Max TV Trends. My name is Edith Sitoma. <laughs>